What up everybody? In today's video, I'm going to be showing off the Vital Bracelet app. So let's not waste any time and jump right in. Alright, first thing you're going to see here is your daily rewards. Uh, usually it's actually a mission you can put into the Vital Bracelet app to help you get uh, points uh, for your Tamer level and uh, trophies. This here is just advertisements showing off the new Dims and what Dims have already been uh, available. This here is actually videos showing you how to use the app. It's not really that good. And nothing else too interesting here, so I'm logging out of that. You notice I do not have a Digimon in my storage at the moment, but when you start up the app, it actually gives you a Pulse Mod. I'm actually training that Pulse Mod up at the moment. To add your Digimon uh, to the app, all you have to do is go over to the bottom corner here that kind of looks like uh, the vital bracelet, I guess. All you would have to do is hit the blue button at the bottom, but I should mention first that they have updated this from when they first released the app to make it a little bit easier for new players, which I have to say. A lot better. It's cleaner. So just click on that, click on that. I'm gonna have to go over to my vital bracelet. Go over to the app. Click that. Then I gotta tap my phone. Try and find that good spot. And there it is. And there she goes into the app quick and easy unfortunately to put them back into the bracelet it's gonna take about three tries but luckily your digimon gets you a, a daily reward every time you put a digimon into the app which is usually uh, vital uh, v coins i don't know if they've ever done anything else or planning to do anything else but the V coins are very useful I'm gonna show that off very soon all right as you can see Shivamon is in the app and you can see all of his progress all of the data Unfortunately, some of it is in Japanese, such as his name and his type. But it shows how many days he's been alive, his vital points progress throughout his whole Digivolution, his win rates throughout his whole Digivolution, uh, shows which Digimon he's become, and uh, overall trophies. Down here, you can add the missions uh, that you put into your vital bracelet. Don't want to do that right now. Just want to do things in order. This here is Tamer level, which you actually get up through the special missions and uh, logging in every day, bring, uh, putting in your Digimon, getting new Digimon. So. It's not too hard to level up, but it takes some time. Um, shows your overall win rate for all of your Digimon. And this stuff I kinda don't know. So I'm just gonna move on to the missions. You can check out your missions if you click this blue button, or you could just go to here and click them. You can't actually click them over here to add them, which I think is a little silly. But you can also stack them up. Now once you finish uh, like the first mission, uh, 
it'll just move on to the next one. You can't actually beat them at the same time, which kind of sucks, but it's it's whatever. You do get a lot of uh, trophies from it, about like three trophies, which is cool, very helpful. Very, very helpful. To remove them, all you have to do is click them. Do that, click them, yes, and gone. Now here is your rewards. This is the daily rewards that you saw at the beginning. Just go ahead and click on that. Click OK to accept. Click on that to accept. Now if I go back to my missions, you're going to see I've stacked up uh, two of these missions before I only had one. And here is... Uh, I don't know what to call these. These are like long time missions. Um, event missions are not out yet, unfortunately. But if you ever want to just figure out what you need to do for this, what I normally do is take a screenshot and use Google Lens. Go to Translate and just click on the picture section and click on the picture that you want to translate. That's all. That's how easy it is. Not all the translation's gonna be correct though. Not always. Moving on to the storage. Now, I actually do want to put my Shivamon into the storage here, but you can also switch him uh, with another Digimon, like if you want uh, to start playing with like uh, Achillesmon right away or something, but uh, I'm not going to do that, I'm still saving him for online battles, which is actually coming soon. But this is what it looks like when you put him into storage, quick easy. Now something I want to mention is this little bastard here is actually the same Namekimon that was in my vital bracelet from the last video. When you jog rest, uh, I'm going off topic with this app here, but yeah, when you jog rest, this Digimon uh, from the backup actually doesn't go away. It's not a true DNA Digivolution. So, they're kind of separating that. I'll be actually working on him to uh, turn him into Shootmon to finish my evolution tree. I'm almost there. But I ended up getting Pistmon. Actually, I'll show that off right now in the section here where it shows all the dim cards. And they actually updated this, uh, I think yesterday, to show uh, the new DIM cards that are now out and available. So whenever uh, a new set is available, that's when they add it to the app. Click on one of these to check out an evolution tree. Now it's not going to show you any of the Digimon that you don't have yet. It's just going to show the a question mark. But when you do end up uh, getting a new Digimon, it fills it out and sh you're able to check out their stats. Uh, over here it shows you your evo like what you need to get the next evolution. So that's it's pretty helpful, but I mainly use the Digitama Hatchery for that. I just so used to using that uh, website. That's just a me thing. You can do what you want. On to the Pissmon thing. What happened with that was I still had Namekimon in my uh, backup on my device from the last video. I tried training up. Uh, Bulkmon into uh, Boatmon 
that didn't happen because I had Namekimon in my storage, turning Bulkmon into a virus type, aka Pissmon. I was a little pissed when that happened, but the way I see it is I was able to actually use them. Like, I need them in a sense to fill this all out, so. I'm not really that pissed now. It's fine. It's fine. And I also figured out how to delete. To delete a Digimon, all you would have to do click on the Digimon, go all the way down to the bottom, and click this purple button. Now, to delete, you just click OK. I don't want to delete right now, so. I'm not doing that. These are the items I already have. Just been saving up really for just when I truly need like band-aids or vital points. Like if I pass out and lose a bunch of vital points, I can get them back. Um these actually take off the time of your digivolution, which I've used some. I've actually used some. And here's where you can actually buy the uh, items with the V coins you get from the daily login, or I guess your Digimon's daily login. But I don't really know too much like what these ones do. These are the missions. These can be helpful if you run out of missions and you still need a little bit more uh, uh, trophies. To use the items, well, there's two ways actually. The first way, you can click on Namekimon over here. And I can only use the vital points uh, item and the healing item. I cannot use any item that has this symbol beside it that looks like the vital bracelet. To add those, you gotta actually do it while you do the transfer, which I actually do want to do right now. So just click the top, uh, click that, here, if I click the left, I can actually add missions just in case I forgot, but I, I don't want to do that. Now here is where I can add the items. And here I can add one of these, which will actually make my Digivolution time go a little bit faster. Click OK. Now I gotta go to my app, or my vital bracelet, go to the app section, click select. Now this is going to take three tries, as I said before. I'm gonna tap and hold though. Always hold just to make sure things don't go wrong. When this screen shows up, click again, hold, wait, move away, click, tap, and this should be the final go. No? It, no, apparently I didn't hit the sweet spot. Oh well. The Mechimon is now transferred. And I should probably end this video here. Thank you for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. See ya in the next one. And peace out.